Supreme Court is hearing arguments this week about whether two laws, one in Texas, another in Florida, can prevent social media platforms from censoring certain content with its users. East Texas State Senator Brian Hughes was a sponsor of the bill from Texas. KETK's Nolan Hoffman spoke with him today about what he thinks the court should do and what could be next in the battle over free speech. Nolan. Casey, laws both here in Texas and Florida aim to prohibit popular social media platforms from censoring users based on their post in political opinions. Those laws have now been taken up by the highest court in the land. I spoke to State Senator Brian Hughes, who was fresh off the plane from Washington, D.C., about his mission to protect our rights for free speech. That's where people go to express their First Amendment views. The Supreme Court hearing arguments from both sides on Monday on whether a law in Texas that would prohibit some social media companies from banning or restricting users based on their viewpoint or their location within Texas can remain one. Right now we have a handful of big tech oligarchs who control what who gets to speak, who doesn't, what messages get out. Hughes, who sponsored SB 12, was in the nation's capital listening to the arguments on Monday. He says the most popular social media platforms are a part of our daily lives and should be treated as that. Are they private? Yes, they are. So is your cell phone provider. But your cell phone provider can't cut you off because of your religion. Neither can an airline or a railroad or a traditional telephone company because they are common carriers. Hughes says he can't cut you off because of your religion. Neither can an airline or a railroad or a traditional telephone company because they are common carriers. Hughes can't cut you off because of your religion. Neither can an airline or a railroad or a traditional telephone company because they are common carriers carriers. Hugh says he and others are calling for a ban on companies restricting free speech that includes politics and religion. We're not talking about speech that is lewd, lascivious, excessively violent, things like that, illegal conduct, terrorism, uh, my goodness, things like that. Of course, those are not protected. He adds having this law in place is important, especially during an election year. There's a great risk that these social media companies can control the outcome of elections by the measures they allow to get through and other messages that they push forward. Hughes says he's being 